and a sold-out crowd in East Lansing is on its feet. The final score, it's Michigan State 74, Nebraska 56. It is now officially Michigan Week. Back with more in a moment right here on the Spartan Media Network. This game was a solid performance against a team that's been playing pretty well. What really makes our broadcast work, I think, it's not like, here's the play-by-play -play guy, oh, and here's the analyst. Our approach is, here's our team. There's a real team, and there's a Matt Stigny guy. And there's a third member of the team, Blake Froling. He's our broadcast host. And so, we talk collectively a whole lot about what we learn, what we think, and, and how we think it's gonna go, who's gonna do what. So there's a lot of dialogue before we start. You never stop getting ready for whatever's next. You're just doing it all the time. So you have this reservoir of stuff floating around your brain. And so when the moment comes, like in this case, up, up next is Michigan. Throughout the basketball season, there's a whole litany of things I've been reading about and saving on Michigan just because they're in our conference and we're gonna play them and all this sort of thing. This is the file. This is the file for this game coming up. And it looks like I might need a new file soon. Go over all the team stats, the last game, look for trends. The format is important because we have a lot of cards and things we have to do, do all that. But here's kind of the, the fun part for me, right? Just a blank sheet of paper. I call that my canvas. So what this blank piece of paper comes out to be is something that looks like that. And this is my painting that I've done on my canvas. So this has all the information and storytelling that I need to do. Next up, I'll go off in a dark corner somewhere and study all my video, read the scouting reports. I think I over-prepare. And I learned a long time ago, don't force it. Half the stuff that I'm ready to talk about, we never use, because it doesn't fit. And so you have to be smart enough with that. But I love the task because you learn, and the stuff you learn going through that whole procedure helps you understand what you're about to see. And if you understand it, you can portray it better and explain why something happened. That's the process, it's not unique. There's nothing sexy about it, but it's thorough. And there's no way you can speed it up. You have to do the work to understand the most critical thing to do isn't so much when the game starts and things get a little crazy. The most important part is, for me, there's a magic moment where you, you need to find peace and quiet. And you need to look at everything one more time. You've looked at it, it seems like a hundred times, but just one more time before you say, okay, I'm ready. And so, if you can get that done, you're ready for all the curveballs. Here we go. Obviously, this is one of those games that is a little different than most we play. These games don't mean as much to you now, even though they mean a lot. But five and 10 and 15 years from now, they mean more. And that's why guys fly back. What you're entering into when you say hello, is an organized ad lib. And you, you know that it's, the game never goes quite the way you think it might go. You just know that going in. And so it's really important to keep everything in the right order of, of events, is that you really understand everything you prepared for. There is a little rush, there is some adrenaline going on, and you do get nervous. And I tell people that and they go, how's that possible? How could you get nervous? Well, you do. And I think you get nervous because you want it to be good. And then once you get going, you're just going and whatever happens, happens. And at the end of the day, you hope your team wins and then you get to go home and feel good.